Leo, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 15th through the 21st, ladies and gents. I'm looking forward to doing this for you guys. Along with the lions and lionesses. What's going on? Let's tune in. We're going to be looking at your situation, Leo. And we're going to be looking at your energy as well as the energy of whomever it is that you're dealing with. So what is Leo going through during this time? Ooh, the five of wands. This is abandonment, ladies and gents. You could be going through a very difficult time because I do feel as if there was a strong desire for love here or you could have experienced, your heart was touched by this relationship which now, she, which now seems to be shrouded by abandonment, by coldness, by even walking away. You, you could be walking away or someone could be walking away from you, but there's most certainly some sort of ending that took place here. All right. An ending can just simply be a transformation. All right. Endings aren't typically, they, they could be absolute endings, but it just could be an ending of what the relationship currently was. And there could always be an opportunity to transform the relationship. But that's not always the case, right? Let's see where this goes. Tell me more about what it is that Leo is dealing with. This is heavy energy here, all right? Closed off. Four, from the five to the four of coins. From the Look, somebody's closed off, flat out. Somebody's closed off. They don't want anything to do with their person. And, I, and what's even worse is that this person is a bit obsessed with that energy. It's like, no fucking way am I allowing this person to come back into my life. And they're just obsessed and attached to that. All right. Now this element of obsession can go both ways. They could still want that re-enkindling, yet are stuck on this fury energy that just, you know, surmounts it constantly. And it's a battle that's going on within somebody. <clears throat> What's going on here? Tell me more. Tell me more. What's going on with, with what Leo is dealing with? Five of Swords. Guys, I'm just getting so much tumultuous energy. More and more, there's clearly been a defeat in here in this situation. A relationship abandoned, closed off. I'm not getting any communication. All right. But fuck, the Two of Cups appeared. You see, now things get tricky here. Now, let's look into this Two of Cups because I'm telling you, I felt the propensity of this, uh, this strong urge to connect and give love to one another. All right. Why the Two of Cups? Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? You know why? Because despite everything that I've said, ladies and gents, there is still that chance that one last chance that somebody wants to give to this that is why i'm seeing the two of cups here leo 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 so if you don't want anything to do with your ex and you fucking eliminated them from your life and you blocked them and you fucking change your address and you move country this is not your reading all right so just leave now leave now ladies and gents no need to waste your time in commenting i don't want anything with my ex i don't i walked away 10 years well then clearly this is not your reading all right. What's going on with Leo? With those Leos that I'm connecting with. What's going on with them? What is their energy in this situation? <clears throat> the high priestess. You're silent. I don't see you moving on, ladies and gents. I don't see you walking away. I see you silent. I see you not giving to this situation. I see you giving your cold shoulder to this situation. But you're curious, aren't you? You're curious. You're actually even thinking about coming forward and communicating is what I'm saying. Hmm. But you're not. You're not. You may think about it, but I don't see it. It's like you're about to walk through the door and you're like, nah, nah. I'm just going to stay put. I'm going to stay quiet. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay silent. I'm not going to give in to this. You're doing this intelligently, or at least you think you are acting out of your own intelligence. <clears throat> but you're also eating yourself up. By the way you're behaving, by the way you're, you're navigating this situation, you may be carrying an overwhelming burden, let's just say. All right. <clears throat> now, there is no right or wrong, ladies and gents. We're here to figure out, you know, or we're here to grow from these situations. This, let me tell you, based on what I'm seeing, this situation most definitely will bring you the opportunity for growth, for maturity, for expansion, will bring you wisdom. If you look for the wisdom right now, you may be too caught up in your feelings and the defeat and the negativity to, tr to really rise above it and, and look at the grand scheme of it and get what you can from it. But you will reach that one day. OK, not right now. I'm not seeing emotional maturity on you. I'm seeing the page of uh, you're not the you're not the king. You're not the queen. You are the page. And that's OK. You took a hit. 
All right, you were clearly invested in a relationship that you were very fond of, and now you're in the dark about it. It is what it is, ladies and gents. It is what it is. Now, <clears throat> one last card on Leo. What's, one last card on Leo. What's going on? The Hermit. I, enough looking into Leo, right? Clearly, you're not invested. You are isolated. You are withdrawn. Your energy is withdrawn. You're curious about him, but I feel that you're just choosing to go within yourself and face all that darkness because there is a lot of darkness, okay? And what I mean by darkness are just neg negative feelings. This could be sorry. This could be feeling sorry for yourself. This could be, you know, working through pain. You possibly were really hurt by what happened here, Leo. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I, I do see you still inclined to working on the situation while your guard is up, while your guard is up. So it's like, don't tell me that if this individual that I'm about to look into right now came with a dozen roses and said, forgive me, Leo. Forgive me. I fucked up. I want to take you serious. I want to do this and that. Don't tell me you wouldn't take it. You absolutely would. All right. But right now, you feel as if you're putting your guard up while being curious. What's going on with, uh, what's going on with, with the person that Leo is dealing with? What's going on with the person that Leo is dealing with? Ooh, Seven of Swords, bloody fuck. This individual isn't doing the right thing either. All right, they're taking actions that completely contradict establishing order, establishing honesty, establishing balance. You best, it's like both of you guys may be doing the same thing to one another. Three of Swords. I feel this person is not addressing this. I feel that there's, there's you may even say there's nothing to address. And I would con completely understand if you if you say that. All right, because of the level of tumultuousness that I'm seeing here. Somebody here is just fucking hitting the road. They are turning their back and moving on or moving away from this turmoil. But this isn't, again, I don't feel as if this is an, an absolute ending, ladies and gents. I see no cards of completion. I don't see the world card. I don't see the tower. I don't see the death. I see none of that. I just see a bunch of hurt feelings and a bunch of, you know, giving each other the cold shoulder. Flat out. That's what I'm seeing here, Leo. <clears throat> Tell me more about whomever it is that Leo is dealing with. Tell me more about whomever it is that Leo is. Ooh, interesting. Now things are getting interesting. Who you're dealing with has neglected this situation. They've neglected healing this. They've neglected turning this around. So have you. Okay? So have you. But this individual seems to be more inclined to bringing about that new opportunity to bring in about the potential for something. And that something is balancing this out. Reciprocity. But you see, I feel that neither, like mind you, let me, let me revert back to what I said about you. I feel that you would take those dozen roses that this person would take, would, would leave in your doorstep. All right, you're curious, but you're like, no way, my guard's up. I'm not giving into this, screw this shit. I need, to, I need to work on myself. I need to find balance within myself. I can't give to this. Your person, kind of like turn their back on this emotional pain. They're completely acting inappropriately towards reconciling. They're acting self-deceptive as a matter of fact. Why? Because they actually want to have this new beginning. All right. They actually want to have balance within this relationship. But they're not. They're not. They're not doing, I'm not seeing this individual really do anything about it. It's, it's more so that they're being deceptive towards that desire that they have toward that. And I mean, like I said, this is, this is mutual energy. I mean, the, the connection here is undeniable, Leo. All right, the connection is undeniable, ladies and gents. I feel both of you still have that last ounce, that last stick to give, that last fight within yourselves to give to this relationship. But I don't see either of you guys taking it, all right? Not, not this time, mind you, this is just a weekly reading, ladies and gents. Nevertheless, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to dive into who you're dealing with. I'm going to look into the near future of this relationship. I'm going to look into this individual's actions. During this time, I'm going to look into their feelings and their intentions, Leo. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Leo, I feel that you're doing the right thing by going within yourself. With that hermit energy, I mean, clearly you're not in a position to give to this relationship. First of all, we got to consider that. Even if you really wanted to fix this relationship, you yourself are not fixed. Little less can you come forward and fix a relationship. It's like try to fix yourself before you try to fix a relationship. Maybe the same advice will be given to this individual that I'm about to tune into the extended. But that's really what I'm seeing. Right now is not the time for you guys to re to even move toward one another. 
Okay? Is there love? Most certainly. Is there desire? Most certainly. I don't see action. All right? I'll see you guys in the extended. The link will be in the description. Otherwise, Leo, I'll see you guys in another video.